What's up everyone? Thank you for checking out today's video. We're gonna be rocking the raw today, but I got a little something special today. I'll explain it in a bit, but if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a like on the video on your way out if you don't mind. Helps out the channel a lot. But hopping over into the video, we're going to be using the Graw, but we're using a submachine gun variant of the Graw. Don't know how good this is going to do. I picked it up in another game and I ripped with it, so I decided to decided to make a class with it myself. But it's not going to challenge me. He's terrified. Pretty much the idea with this class is I want to be able to run around and do everything that a Graw can do, but have a little bit more aim down sight speed, have a little bit more mobility, play a little cracked out of my mind, you know. That's kind of the idea here. Oh, we gotta hit those, buddy. Gotta hit those. So if you didn't know, guys, I'm a huge uh, Call of Duty esports fan. So they just announced the other day that COD is moving over to PC and the controller, which is super awesome. Super excited to uh, see what happens in the future with that. If you guys are esports fans, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what team you're rooting for. Personally, I've uh, I've been an Empire fan for a while. Grim6 is a beast, but uh, also like also like FaZe and whatnot. They just announced their new roster, and so did uh, the Rocker as well. But Try not to be committed to too many teams, but then again, I don't really care. I just like to see good gameplay, you know? I don't care whether my team wins or loses. But, gotta focus up here a bit. I feel like these dudes are going in, but I'm also going against snipers, so this game's gonna be a bit of an issue. Yeah, guys, I'm looking to, uh, you know, expand my community a bit. You know, if you're looking to play, let me know. I need people to play with. I'm getting kind of bored just running hard points by myself. I'm confused. How did he get a support hero? Am I missing something? Where did all these streaks come from? Like, I really think I'm missing something here. He's, oh, he must be like 10 and 0 or something stupid. You know, honestly, it's probably this dude camping up top. Enemy's got the hard point. Uh, there's not even a dude up top. Who's on top from behind? And I still get shot in the back. I knew it was bound to happen eventually. Jesus. This might be a tough game for us here. I haven't really been playing the hard point very, very much, so... I don't really have anyone to blame. Probably shouldn't have pushed up right there. You know, to be honest, this gun doesn't kill, like, super slow. Like, it's time to kill. is okay. Uh, like I said, I picked it up. And it felt pretty good for what it was. You know, the Gras pretty good anyway. This is definitely isn't a like no recoil version. I have a I'm running a compensator on this class, so kind of helps with the uh, with the recoil bit. Um, you can always go like Merc for grip. I just run Commando. I like the feel of Commando a lot more than Merc for grip on this gun. I tried it out, but I didn't. I thought, I thought my aim down sight speed was just a little too much. I didn't need my gun to just be a rock, honestly. You know, my aim is good enough to be able to uh, pretty much handle the recoil. Ah. You hate to see that. At least we brought it back, though. We held all that time, so that's pretty nice. Now we just gotta actually be able to break this hill. Don't know exactly if we're actually gonna be able to do it here. Everyone on the team is so spread out. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for reason.
No, I got two. But you really expect me to get a three piece every time I hop on the hill? Okay. Yeah, I was expecting that. Yeah, they have like three or four on the hard point constantly, so this is actually going to be an uphill battle for us. I need my teammates to uh, try a little bit at least. Not trying to make this like a competitive game or anything, but you know, I'd like to win still. We're going to try to play a little OBJ for our teammates here. If I'm not dying by a sniper, I'm dying from behind or looking at three people. You know, for, for me to be using what I'm using, I'm surprised I'm killing people the way that I am. I haven't found my stride yet in this game, but... These guys aren't doing anything too special. Again, I'm getting killed from all angles here. My teammates are kind of just letting me die at this point. While I'm trying to, like, hold it down for them. Be focusing on spawns for next year. Don't know if I'm actually going to be able to flip though. But we can try. Surprised I killed him. Nice, nice, nice. Getting shot from the ramp, I assume. Looking for that one. Yep. I was looking for that one person that's gonna flank. I'm gonna get the deep flank too. Ah. That's my fault. I should have looked left. I just didn't trust my teammate there at all. I mean, for good reason. dead yeah yeah I had no faith in my teammates there that's why I turned back around and then I saw that dude out of the corner of my eye these dudes are rotating and everything though so like I said we got a game somebody should beat me here and they're running I didn't even see him come back around the corner it's a really tough map to use a submachine gun on this Especially with my teammates not really helping. Nice teammates, y'all actually doing something. Teammates are not making this easy for me. I'm pretty sure by the end of this game, I'm probably gonna have like three three minutes in the hard point if we actually can win. Jesus. My teammates were literally looking at me right there when I died. I'm pretty sure one of them was at least watching that left side and just letting him run up and kill me. Pretty sure I was just going to get hit. Nice, nice. I knew he'd be greedy and stay there. Almost turned on that dude. If I picked up that dude's car in time, it's over. What is this dude doing? He did, he doesn't even know I'm behind him. At least he didn't turn around. My teammates are afraid to push up. That's that's one thing I'm definitely noticing off the rip here. My teammates are terrified to try to run into the hill. Wait, let me let me not just run out like an idiot here. I'm actually trying to help my team win here. I don't have a trophy, unfortunately. Teammates watching the right side. Uh, and somebody watching the flank. That's beautiful. 
we hold this, we come back. We might have the lead as well. Barely. I have teammate. Nice, nice. That was clutch two kills right there. I'm gonna try to rotate mid map here. From this right side. Push left. And he's up there chilling. That's cool. I knew he was still in here. Knew it for a fact. Why would he leave? He tried, I guess. Somebody's gonna push me from mid here. Somebody's right. Ah, uh, I, I had to hit those. Yeah, had to hit those men. Really needed to kill him there. He he kind of messed me up. That's game. Contact. Dang, not 41. A minute and a half in the hill. The they just had too many people on their team playing OBJ, and our team just wasn't interested. Which is fine, I guess. I'm not gonna get too mad at my teammates though. It's public games. Yeah, these dudes are clueless. These are so clueless. Wow. Where are we at time-wise? We're at 11 minutes. I can try to get another game. Why not? Because I feel like I didn't showcase that good enough. But yeah, I'll be back when I actually get into a game that hasn't started. Alright guys, we're back. We made it into a... Unfortunately, we made it into a Rust game, but I feel like this would be a good way to show it off. Close quarters map. Rust is just awful with spawns. So, we'll see how we do. Keep watching this. Wow. Wow. That was that was insane. I don't know how he killed me there. Oh, you got a try hard in the game. Love to see that. Really put this gun to the test. Especially and he's using the MP5. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. It'll be a real test for this little little gun I came up with. Although, I, I, like I said, I, I don't know like how this gun stacks up though against against these MP5s. I know I can still kill people from a good range. Dang, man, I'm noticing that this gun is not very good, very close up. Like you still kind of get gunned by MP5. Nice, nice. You still kind of get gunned by MP5s. Very close range. What? That was a fucking. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, love the rage. Love it. Let it consume you, my friend. Ooh. Ah, uh, he's just sitting there. Tell me about it, bro. Is he gonna push? No. Might be dead here. They come behind me. Uh, Res is a weird map in this game, man. It plays so funny just because the spawns are so trash. Like, this is probably the one map with the worst spawns in the game. It's just really bad. But I'm not going to complain about the spawns all game. I don't, I don't want to do that. Oh, I'm gunning that kid. But we're getting a good we're getting a good challenge here. I love seeing the M4s, MP5s, and stuff. Really love seeing that. Definitely gives me a challenge. Definitely gives me a challenge. Although, like I said, the spawns are just so rough. You guys, let me know. I mean, uh, people really seem to like seeing bra content. I mean, I like the gun. I just always felt like it was a little too easy to use, you know? Just using the Archangels class. It always just felt a little too cheaty. Not cheaty, but... Like, you have no recoil. 
but you have like no recoil on that on that variant of the gun, you know. So I, I want to give myself a challenge, you know. I play this game all the time. I feel like I've gotten pretty good with like M4 and P5 and stuff. So definitely want to give myself a bit of a, a bit of a challenge. Yeah, like I said, guys, if you want to play with me, just let me know. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and add me through my Activision ID. When I get back in the lobby, you can see it at the top right. But I am looking for people to play with. I'm looking for people to play with, stream with, record with, you know. I'm trying to start my own little community here. I'm welcome. I'm welcome to people coming, playing with me. Because trust me, it gets a little stressful playing this game by yourself all the time. Now I'm finding my stride. That first game was a little tough, but... Ooh. Let's see. Let's go ahead and drop it. I see no point in holding on. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Bro, you know, considering I made this a submachine gun class, I'm really surprised at how, uh, at how, like, the lack of recoil. What? And I'm using commando foregrip, you know? Okay, what, what, what was that kid doing? Ooh. Almost into that man's career right there. Ah, come on, man. I'm gonna get stuck in the loop here. This is where it just gets annoying. You just can't leave your spawn. Uh, that was unfortunate timing. I don't even know what to say about that. Don't even know what to say about that. Look at these spawns, bro. I'm looking at this man. These dudes are sitting up top. That's another thing about Rust, is that you have people like him that'll just chill up top and not ever move. They'll probably try to go up top again off rip, off the spawn. That was terrible. I should have just reloaded. I didn't think he would actually be there, but I kind of had a feeling he was just going to sit there and wait. Dang. Tough scenes out here, bro. I'm losing the easiest kills and getting, like, the most ridiculous ones. Dude, what a beam. What a beam. I feel like I shot him a lot. Yeah, guys, let me know how you feel about the Graw. I mean, I know how most most people kind of love Either you love it or you hate it, but I haven't met too many people that just completely hate this gun. I hate it for different reasons. Look at this. No wonder people sit up here, man. Might get another C4 thrown at me. Oh, and I got called out. Load. I'm getting a whole lot of hit markers. Oh, it's probably... Yeah, that was a terrible time to jump down. How did he hit me with that flash? Now that I think about it, these dudes might be trying to win. I wonder if that dude even saw me. They're all spawning right there, too. Dang. <laughs> He's just spraying. That was bad on both of us. And I killed him with his own gun, I think. Nah, I would've got a backfire. Come on, team. We can win this. I mean, I'm not really trying to win this, but we can win this. Bro, I will say that this variant of the gun does not kill as fast as I kind of did to. 
Like, it does definitely feel like it's time to kill is, is pretty rough. I mean, I did talk about that in the first game. Like, you will lose a lot of... Well, I think I talked about it in this game. Kind of lose track. Time to kill can be a little rough. Oh, I'm into slide. I don't even know if I should go here. Yeah, I need it. I needed to slide through. Man, they're just holding angles now. I don't really blame them. Oh my god. Everyone's probably gonna push through the back now. They got the hard point. Oh, they're just gonna hold that angle. I hate this spawn though. Probably one of the most. I got guns. Don't even have anything to say there. That pole saved his life though. Not even going to a lot of my good spots that I like to sit on this map. Okay. Do the battle chatter is so annoying. I feel bad for people that literally get killed because of that. Tough, tough. Also, these guys are rotating on Rust, which I find a little strange. I find that to be a little awkward. I'm not really used to that. But I guess these guys wanted to win. Oh, please, please hold the hard point. I want to drop 70. Ah, too off. Too off. Not bad, though. Not bad. Not bad. I like the gun. I really, I really do. But again, games like this really come down to just... Teamwork, I if you're wanting to win. I could have played a little slower to play for my streaks and stuff, but like I said, I'm a running gun player. I don't, I don't really care to grab my streaks constantly. I want them, then again, but I don't play for them all the time. And I only had 18 seconds on the hell with me talking about being a team player. Can I really say anything? <laughs> well, let me show off the class to you guys, because I've been talking about it this whole time. I'll sort of try to break down like my thoughts when I was making this class. Like I said, I picked I picked up like a variant of this gun in one of my pub games and I kind of went off with it so my class is kind of different than what uh, I picked up in the public games but I liked what I picked up so I kind of tried to emulate it but fit it towards me. So we're going to start with the muzzle. We're going compensator instead of the monolithic suppressor. That might be why I was losing some of those close quarters gun fights just because I didn't have that damage range but I don't, I don't really think that's why. Um, because it's damage range, it's not actual damage, so this this would just help me in like uh, longer gunfights, you know? But I was beaming kids at long range anyway, so I'd kill them maybe in one bullet faster. But I go compensator just because that recoil control, I am using like a sub-variant, like I said, of this gun. So having that extra recoil control is definitely helpful. Um, I liked it better than the monolithic suppressor. I tried it out and I just didn't really care for it. And plus it slowed down the aim down sight speed a little bit more than uh, the compensator did. I felt way more comfortable with the compensator. So there you go. The barrel. The XRK Season MK2. What a mouthful. What a mouthful. God. But this variant, while it still offers, you know, still offers a damage range and bullet velocity I don't, know, I don't really know what that does it still feels pretty good you know uh the archangels is just a little too slow um like i said i'm going for a sub variant oh that's that's what i was going for again the nexus also slows you down a, a little bit but it doesn't really feel like a subclass if i'm using this one the squall i tried this too uh this is one of the newer barrels they added but it's just i mean look at the damage range fall off you get way more mobility but then again like you just can't fight people at those long ranges like you can with this barrel. I feel like if you want to run run and gun with the like a sub variant of this gun, I feel like this is the best one to go for. Also try this, but it's even worse than the squall, and it also takes up your underbarrel slot. And I want to use commando foregrip. I don't want this. I, it looks like a ranger foregrip to me, but I just I wasn't having fun with that. 
at all. Like I was getting completely destroyed using this. So I'd highly recommend using this barrel if you want to like copy this class. It's probably the best one for what I'm doing. Then we're moving over to stock. Again, going with the whole uh, submachine gun thing. We're using no stock. We want that mobility and aim down sight speed 100%. Uh, then moving down to the rear grip, we're using the Void 2. This is pretty much your stipled grip. You want that aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed, which is super important. Uh, and then Commando 4 grip, I already talked about this. You know, it allows you to run and gun a lot better. Uh, you could argue Merc 4 grip if you're struggling with the recoil. Um, or you're on bigger maps and you still want to use this gun. I would definitely recommend Merc 4 grip. It, it would help a lot. Maybe I should have threw this on on these uh, Superstore game. It might have helped a little bit more. Maybe. But again, I like the Commando foregrip. I feel like I can handle that recoil even in longer ranges. Um, some honorable mentions would probably be like a, a laser. Uh, if you want more sprint to fire speed, if you want to be able to like really snap onto people super fast, I could argue that. I, I could see the argument for that, definitely. Um, but that's really it. That's really the only other attachment that I could honestly see you arguing for is one of these lasers. The sprint to fire speed I feel like would be super useful, but again, the laser can be kind of annoying. Like if you're trying to like sit for your streaks and kind of playing like a rat for them, like this is going to definitely give you away. But again, you can snap on people, right? Uh, that five milliwatt laser is just stupid. Um, so, you know, I, I could definitely see see people using this one. I, I didn't actually try out using the laser just because I felt pretty comfortable with these classes. I didn't really feel like I needed it. Um, I never really struggled with snapping on people it was just those close range gunfights i just felt like i just didn't have that damage you know like you saw on rust i was getting outgunned by the mp5 close range and the uzi i think i was getting gunned pretty fast with those guns but like i said the only thing i mean i could see the monolith expressor as well but i, I was just, like i said I, I want a little bit more recoil control the damage range again you saw from some of those kills i didn't really struggle long range getting kills but again if you want that suppression uh, you could use Monolith Expressor. It wouldn't be bad at all, you know? Um, but again, I, ju I just felt like it was slowing me down. And it does lower your mobility as well. So, I, I mean, I was right for that. It was. It, it did feel like it was slowing me down a little bit. It was definitely noticeable. But yeah, that's the class, guys. If you want to try it out, please do let me know. If you do try it out, let me know how it goes. Because <laughs> I, I didn't struggle too much. I didn't, I didn't feel like I was having to play weird for kills. I played normally like I normally do, just run and gun, get in people's faces, just play super fast. And I was, I mean, I had fun with it. Um, like I said, I kind of found this gun on a whim and it was pretty fun. The Graz is just stupid no matter what you put on it, in my opinion. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, subscribe if you're new here and leave a like on your way out if you want to, man. It really helps out the channel a lot. And like I said, I'm looking for people to play with. So just add me. Uh, my Activision ID is in the top right corner. Just add me. Uh, send me a comment on one of my YouTube videos or something. And let me know that you sent me a friend request. And I'll definitely accept it. Uh, like I said, I'm looking for people to play with. I'm getting kind of tired of playing by myself. Uh, I ran some gunfight tournaments with one of my buddies. One of my IRL buddies uh, a couple hours ago. And we won. Those are definitely pretty fun to do. Would Would be interested in making some content around those as well. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for checking out the video, and we'll see you in the next one.